Alright, who's ready to check this shit out? We're out here grinding content. Literally. Rain or shine. We don't give a shit that it's raining. Know why? Cause sweet boys never sleep. But more importantly, but more importantly, there's dogs out there that need to be fed. My grandma once told me the dogs are better than humans. Maybe she's right. Come to think of it, a dog never cut me off on the freeway. Dog never broke my heart and dumped me through a MySpace message. Dog never unfollowed me on Instagram. Nor has a dog ever fired me from a job for checking the X hamster website on the clock. Here's what I say. Let's show these four-legged critters some loves. Let's feed some fucking dogs. Kill it. What's going on guys? CH and Chris from Battle Mage Brewery. Where dreams become reality. That's my line. Okay, okay. What's going on guys? CH from Homebrew for Life here with Chris from Battle Mage Brewery. Where dreams become reality. Amen to that. Today we're gonna to go ahead and make dog treats from our spent grain from our mash. But before we go any further, oh, what did we make in our last video? We made the orange creamsicle milkshake IPA. We made a milkshake IPA, and whoever won the best name for that is gonna get a shout out, but you gotta wait till the end of this video. Okay, uh, spent grain, okay, what do we need? So we got four cups of spent grain, which is a lot less than you'll have in any batch of beer you're making. Yeah. Um, even if you do a one gallon batch, you're probably gonna have more than that. With the spent grain from our mash, there's three things we have to watch out for so our dogs don't go to hell early. Chris, what are those? You wanna use the grain that you brewed with that day. You don't wanna use anything from the day before. As you know, if you've brewed and had the grain sitting there for more than a day, it smells like rancid trash water. Your animal's not gonna like that. Um, also, you don't wanna use any rice holes. They are sharp and can uh, irritate their digestive tract. And what's the last thing? Also, you don't wanna use any hops in your mash. Uh, mash hopping is a technique that some people do. If you choose to do it, don't use that grain for dog treats. Hops are toxic, toxic. to dogs. They, it doesn't allow them to, no, it has something to do with them getting rid of the heat in their body, how they pant oh, right, instead right, of right. sweating, and it doesn't allow them to do that, so they literally overheat and die. What we're using right now for this batch, we're pretty much just using a two row. It, it, it's, yeah, it's straight two row base. Just base malts. Yeah, we're playing it safe. No dogs, no dogs were killed in this motion picture. But you can use grains from a stout, a brown ale. Sure. Um, darker stuff has like, you know, that roasty character, that's perfectly fine. Don't throw coffee grounds in there. Yep. Chocolate malt is perfectly fine. Any barley, wheat, oats. Fantastic. And for this recipe, we're gonna use two cups of whole wheat flour. Yeah. Your we're preference. Two eggs for this. But keep in mind, we're, we're making a pretty big batch. We're making about 100 dog treats. Yeah. If you've got one dog at home, probably cut the recipe in half, maybe even cut it into a quarter. Uh, so you also wanna use one cup of peanut butter, unsalted. You don't wanna use, salt is generally not good for dogs. Don't use Nutella, just straight peanut butter. But, um, Good looking out, bro. You know, but, um, Good looking out, bro. You know, if, you, if you're basically pushing it all together and it's crumbling apart, throw another egg in there, throw more peanut butter in there. Eggs are... Eggs probably cheaper. Yeah. Um, Drinking my beer? Is this a good one? You wanna try it? This is Kevin behind the counter. He's wasted. I gotta get him an Uber. Okay, so for the steps, first things first, preheat your oven at 350 degrees. Step two, thoroughly mix all the ingredients together with your hands. If it's too sticky, add a little more flour. If it's not sticky enough, you go ahead and add that egg or the peanut butter. Yep. There's nothing wrong with these things as long as we don't do the hops or the rice holes. In all honesty, the more eggs and peanut butter you add, the more delicious and unhealthy it is for your dog. <laughs> and they're gonna enjoy themselves. Yeah. The more peanut butter and eggs you use, the more it becomes human food for me. <laughs> Fuck the dogs, man. This is like when I'm bringing to a Christmas party. <laughs> Step three, add some flour to a cutting board or to your countertop. Go ahead and roll out your mixture with your roll pin. Quarter inch, half inch, somewhere around there so that you only have to bake it for two and a half hours total. Anything more than that, your ass is sitting around in your kitchen all day. Yeah. yeah and your dog is not gonna know the difference. Now we've got all of our dog snacks cut out and on our cookie sheets. We're gonna go ahead and put in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Now is a good time for step five. Step five, 
In this part of the video, usually we do mandatory beer chugs, but this week we're not gonna do one. I'm just kidding, let's do one. <clears throat> what, 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 mandatory beer chugs? Should have given Chris a straw. We got about a hundred snacks in there, and we're just gonna go back about every half hour increment, grab the thickest one, take a bite of it, and see if it's still moist. And when that thickest one is not, our dog treats are done. Sweet treats. And if there's no moist, if there's no little wetness in that dog treat, it's probably good for, I don't know, like a month? Store your uh, dog treats in an airtight container and put them in a dark pantry. All right, so step number eight for making dog treats is feed them <laughs> to every... <laughs> Do, it again. Do that exactly uh, the same way, but I won't laugh. Step eight, go. <laughs> okay. Feed every dog in the world. Step, step eight. Step number eight for making dog treats, feed every single dog you come across in the world. Hey, thanks for watching this week's video. Let's figure out a name for our delicious Orange Cream School Milkshake IPA right now. For last week's video, we created our Orange Cream School beer. We called it Orange is the New Barrage. Delicious. We said in the comment section below if you come up with a better name than that, we'll give you a shout out. That name is going in our records for life. We're gonna open up a brewery one day and it's gonna have your fucking name all over it if you win this thing here right now. Hey, fuck this camera. Say it. Aren't you keen on orange and cream? Number two. Ring, ring to it. Got a ring to it. Number two. Orange you glad I'm not banana. Orange you glad. <laughs> Number three. Samurized. Samurai. There was some debate about this. Whether it was samurai, right? Or Samus, Samus. a ran from Metroid who right. is a smoking hot girl that dresses in orange. Right. Or Summarized? Or because we said, I summarize in the video so many times. I summarizing? I summarizing. So, summarize. Maybe that's what he was thinking. Maybe. Number six was creamsicle surprise. Now. I'm gonna say no. Just, <laughs> just no. Name after creamsicle surprise? Even worse, creaming my orange pants. Well, we know where his head's at. <laughs> it's like both of those came from Pornhub. What? Both of those came from Pornhub, it seems Is like. Is there a Pornhub joke in here somewhere? I They're don't know. orange and Maybe. yellow? The next one. Also super classy. Poopsicle Dreamsicle. For all the ladies out there. What is the name of my girl? You never want to put poop in a beer title. If you, Probably if not. If you're running a brewery. Or food. Right. And then last but not least, what, what have we got here? Uh, Phoenix Down was the final Phoenix uh, Down. final contestant. I feel good about that one. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do a weird transition. out Hi, but I'll do, I'll do but I'll do yeah I'll do the Wayne's World thing maybe right? like yeah, yeah cut to <laughs> Wayne's World doing it who who, so who are we picking Phoenix Town uh, Hop Work Orange I think it was Hop Work Orange who do you want Hop Work Down out of these people to get the recognition right I now? want I mean Samurized and Phoenix Down because they're video game references potentially yeah, and yeah. throughout our videos we uh, there's video there's fucking references. Iron Man and yeah. video games through all this yeah. stuff alright uh, I like Phoenix Down. Phoenix Down. But how are you gonna split? Like, it's a. I'll give it a runner up. We'll go with Phoenix Down, but I'll give Sam Rise a runner up. Be like, I didn't. Unless we're telepathic. Right. Which is a phenomenal name. Okay. Britta. <clears throat> Chili the new. No, okay, guys, welcome back. It looks normal right now, but we actually paused the camera for 30 minutes, beat the shit out of each other to figure out which we like the best. And the winner is It was Phoenix Down by our friend Christina Rothwell. Shout out to you. Check out her channel. Explain the significance of Phoenix Down. So Phoenix Down is from Final Fantasy. Um, it is a orange feather that basically brings you back to life. Sometimes it's in a bottle. Yes. An orange Which feather on fire in a and There's bottle. many levels of an it. An orange but. drink that brings you back to life. And thank you for all who participated. I would like to give a runner up to whoever wrote Samurai's. That's my boy out there. 
I'm gonna botch your fucking name, dude, but I love you. Kijo Johansson. Kijo? Kijo. Kijo? Kijo. Kujo. Get out of here. <laughs>